trolls are everywhere. Before we leave the ship today, here are some views of Flom. So this is the Sonia Field and we are all the way down here in Flom. Centre where you can book boats, trains and automobiles. It's a long day in Flom and there are lots of things to do but they do sell out so make sure you book ahead. Nothing in Flom is very far from the ship. This is the famous Flom Railway, 12 miles long, up through the mountains, see the waterfalls. Best to book in advance or go on a tour with the ship. Cycling is another great way to get around in Norway and this is where you hire your bike, right next to the railway station. You can rent a talking car. It talks to you on the way round. For 80 euros, you can go to Arland, and for 1500, you could go to Tagaston, where there are beautiful views. You can go on a field safari in an open top boat, but you've got to dress appropriately because you'll get wet. The ride is 2 hours 15 minutes and it's 790 kroner. I guess not many of you would visit a railway museum at home, but I bet you visit this one in Flom. Entrance to the museum is free and it tells of the history of the railway in Flom. Most of these photos are of the workers that built the railway back in 1936. Because it's so steep, the trains have to have a special braking system. There's a little market by the ship and you can get reindeer stew, reindeer burgers. Wow. Canoeing is done as a guided tour. It costs about 750 for three hours. Fancy a beer? You might not want to follow us up the waterfall, but please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and look at our website, Doris Visits.